All right, now what I'd like to do is show you how to subtract a fraction from a whole number. So in this case, we have 8 minus 4 thirds. Now, just like what we did with any operations, when we're dealing with whole numbers and fractions, what we're going to want to do is write our whole number as a fraction in itself. And we can take every, any whole number and always put it over 1. So now it has a fraction. Right now we have a numerator and a denominator. Now the important thing is when we are applying addition or subtraction is we need to have a common denominator. And right now our denominators are not the same. This is a 1 and that's a 3. So what we need to do is obtain the smallest multiple of 1 and 3, which we'll call our common denominator. So you know, to do this the slow method, you can just write out the multiples of 1 as well as the multiples of 3. Right? So you can basically just count by 1s and count by 3s. And you recognize, though, the smallest number or the smallest multiple that they share is going to be 3. So this is already 3, so I don't need to do anything to this fraction. But this is not 3, so I need to multiply this by 3. But I need to make sure I keep what we call equivalent fractions, meaning if I just multiply this fraction by you know, 3 in the denominator, I'm going to change the value of the fraction. However, if I multiply by 3 on the numerator and the denominator, now I have produced a fraction that is equivalent to 8. Because 24 over 3, 3 divides into 24 8 times. So as long as you multiply by the same value on the top and the bottom, you're producing an equivalent fraction. Now I have 24 thirds minus 4 thirds. Now they have the common denominator. So basically, I'm just going to apply the operation to the numerator, leaving me with this common denominator, or leaving me a common denominator as the denominator. And then I can just subtract. 24 minus 4 is going to leave me with a 20 divided by 3. In my class, I prefer mixed numbers, uh, or prefer improper fractions. However, we could identify this as a mixed number by asking ourselves, how many times is 3 evenly to divide into 20? And that's the, the least number of times it divides into there until we go over. Well, 3 times 7 is 21, which is over. So 3 times 8 is going to be 18. So therefore, we can say 3 goes into 20. To give it 8 is going to be, what am I thinking? I just lost my mind. 3 times 7, so it would be 3 times 6. 6 is 18. And therefore, when you do 3 times 6, that's 18. So therefore, you have to count 2 more to get to 20. So that's going to be your remainder. So therefore, you can rewrite that as 6 and 2 thirds.